Good morning, Magandang Umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. Today is Saturday, and it is Build Day 229. It's Build Day 229 on a construction schedule out of Villa Feliz, and it is Veterans Day. And being that it is Veterans Day, I want to send a big shout out to all the men and women of the United States Armed Forces, and I want to thank you for your sacrifices and your contribution to keeping our country free. So without further delay, let's get today's video underway. Oh, it is family day. Yeah, it's family day. <laughs> You got the manager and the manager's assistant today. Good morning, Gavi. How are you today? <laughs> How are you this morning? Oh, that's a perfect picture. I wish I could. I'm gonna have to take. A, I'm gonna have to take a snapshot of that. I also want to do a anniversary shout out today, and the anniversary shout out goes to one of our users that makes comments on our vlog on a regular basis and he goes by the username usafc130 and he is jeff heaney he and his wife elena are celebrating their 36th wedding anniversary and how appropriate for them to be celebrating it today because they were actually married at the front gate of a clark air force base 36 years ago so anyway i want to wish i want to i want to wish the two of you happy anniversary You're probably saying, James, why are they tearing down your finished door openings on your lanai? Well, I'm going to make a calculated guess here. I'm going to make an educated guess and say that they didn't calculate in the width of the actual door frame that's got to go inside there. 
and uh, they made it too small of an opening for the uh, the door jam and, and the French doors that are going in there. I know that's what it is. So I, I saw yesterday when they were measuring and they had this big puzzled look on their face. So uh, not a big deal again. <laughs> So they'll do the correction, they'll do the same thing that they're doing right now on the French doors, uh, the correction that they're going to do on a door jam there. So we got a couple of correction things that are going on right now. And I think once we get those done, I think other than us doing finishing stuff and building some cabinets and the, the, the area underneath the sink in the uh, CR on the second floor and some of the finishing stuff on the CR on the first floor, I think any of the major stuff will be really here on the outside and not so much on the house. I think we're good to go at that point and the rest of it is finishing. Alright, well, like my dad tells me all the time, it looks like everything is running on all cylinders. We have the full crew here, so we have the mason team, mason team making that correction. There's a lot of corrections being done today, but they're doing the correction and that top stair over there for, remember, they're, they're trimming each one of them to give us the correct rise on each one of those steps going to the backyard. Uh, that's correction number one. Correction number two is, going, is the correction to the lanai French door frame. You see that they're knocking out and making it wider. So it will fit the door uh, jam that they were assembling yesterday. You saw that. That's correction number two. Correction number three is correcting the, the framing, the, the plumbing and the squareness of the French doors that go into the master bedroom suite from the observation platform there. Uh, that's correction number three. Lots of corrections lately, it seems like. Uh, but again, I would rather have the corrections done now and we see it and we're making the corrections and when it's all done, everything will be, well, as, I, I won't say perfect, but as close to perfect as possible. Again, you ask folks who have not had anybody on site during their uh, construction and then when they take delivery of their house, they find all these weird things, crooked windows, crooked doors, doors that don't swing properly, you have all these kind of things. Uh, but once you've moved into the house, a lot of things you probably don't even discover till later on. And these have to do with plumbing issues and electrical issues and stuff like that. So again, oversight. I always talk about making sure that you're on uh, site or have somebody who knows what to do in that proxy view that stays on site to be able to correct all these things. But I feel confident uh, even uh, with those things uh, wrong and being corrected that the, the final uh, product is going to be a good build, a uh, good door frame, a good set of steps, so on and so forth. Uh, anyway, I have to run into town. Uh, it's it's about quarter after nine right now, and I have to do things for preparation for tomorrow. Remember, we're going to be going into M Manila tomorrow, uh, specifically Alabang, and we're going to be picking up some uh, appliances and a couple other things. I'm going to run into town now in preparation for that, and what I'm also going to do, I'm going to pick up a few carpenter tools things that I don't understand why they don't have on this site. I'm going to get a square, if I can find a square, the big square that you use, not what they use, these little tri-squares that they have. If, if you have, and it's a very simple device, it's a piece of metal, it's a perfect square. Using a, a square, you can see when your door jam is out of uh, squareness. You can see around corners much better than you can uh, a, a small tri-square. And I'm going to see if I can find an inexpensive, and they're usually not inexpensive, but a 1 or 1 1.5 meter level. Uh, they, they don't have, everything they have is very tiny here. And it's very hard to get a good accurate squareness using these tiny uh, tools that these guys are using. I know it's kind of late in the game to be doing this because we're at the very end. Uh, but specifically for what they're doing today on that French door that leads into the master bedroom suite. I see them chipping it out right now and it looks, from my observation at this point right now, it looks like all they're doing is chipping out the same amount with the same uneven accuracy for the level inside there. Uh, so I want to make sure that we're correct on that, uh, but we'll see what, the, what their intentions are. Uh, again, let's go ahead and run into town, get some business done, and get back here as quick as possible. Okay, I just received a uh, message from 
uh, the four link queue folks, uh, Emma Ruth specifically, who uh, who's in our, my rep for my my UPVC door and window installation for the house. All the UPVC windows and the sliding glass doors that we have here on Villa Feliz. And she indicates to me that by next Thursday or Friday, we're going to take delivery of all the uh, the the window material, door and window material. And then once we take delivery of that, they'll store everything probably down. I don't know where they're going to. They'll store it somewhere, maybe inside the rooms on the first floor or some. They will store it. They will bring. They will do a delivery. And then uh, shortly thereafter, about one week after that, they will start the installation. So if they do that, mm, let's see, that will be approximately the 16th or 17th. They will deliver. So uh, around the, the, the 20th, I, I'm just guessing, around the 22nd, 23rd of uh, November, we should have window installation beginning here. That will be exciting because that's a big part of drying in the entire house. And then once they get that done, uh, we'll do the painting. We'll start putting tiles in. And I think it's the last week in November also uh, that we have the kitchen cabinets that are going to be done. Uh, that will be great. I would rather have the windows in first before we put in all those uh, fine kitchen cabinets and quartz and stuff like that. So uh, uh, moving forward. Okay, so it's after lunch and uh, we're just gonna kind of walk around and see what's going on here. I delivered my my four foot uh, level to the carpenter that's working up on the second floor that's doing the door jam over here. And uh, we verified that the sides were good, but the top was doing the same thing. It was at an angle just like the one we're getting ready to replace in the French doors in the main entranceway into the master bedroom suite. So I show him that, so he's making the correction on that. That would have been horrible to put all that thing together inside there and then find out that, oh, we got to redo it again like we do, we're redoing the other one. So what they are doing, and I checked out, they are removing all the concrete around the door jam. They, they did, they're doing a great job. I, I didn't think they would be able to do that without destroying the door jam. So what they're doing is they're removing all of the mortar mix around the door jam. Then they're going to reset the door jam and then they're going to fill it in back again you'll never notice that it was changed but that's how they're going to do the correction like i said i think it's a it's a two-day process uh i think it's going to end up being a three-day process uh for and that includes the curing of the concrete but we'll see we'll, we'll monitor that so my electrician is going to town today and what i want to show you the new standard in the philippines the new standard is they're doing grounding just like they're doing on north american electrical code and you can have them do that. If you don't say anything, there's a good chance, especially if you're in your rural area, they're not going to do any grounding. So 
So all your service outlets should have an earth ground along with what comes from the electric company, either that neutral or what some people here are calling ground, which is sort of like a return. So anyway, I want you to see the kind of outlet that we're using here. You see this one, this is a very flexible outlet right here. This will do the round ones, this will do the straight ones, and it has the ground, which is the green wire that's inside of here that we're going to do for earth ground. So it's going to have standard, uh, up-to-date grounding that you should have in all your new home construction now. And something slipped me by that they must have started while I was at Robinson, and it's the glass block installation inside the CR in the basement. So I'm not sure, I, I kind of have a feeling what's going on, but I'm not 100% sure. I think what's happening, since they miscalculated the rises of the steps, remember they had to trim everything back, I think they're one step short going to the backyard. And what it looks like to me is he's cutting and digging and the four, uh, one more step they'll do the beam and they'll put a concrete hollow block and they'll build us up to another level. I don't know, we'll follow this one closer and see what goes on back here. I think the guys dug up a big chunk of lava from a volcano burst many, many years ago. Remember we found we found several a lot of the lava down in the bottom of the cistern, but that was we didn't find that until between three and four meters deep. Um, we're definitely not three or four meters deep here. Uh, so maybe that one wasn't too long ago. break time and it's the second break of the day it's the break after lunch and I try to analyze what they're doing sometimes so that I don't have to ask the question and this is what I believe that they're going to be doing over here to make that correction for the door frame coming in from the uh, from the observation deck through the French doors into the master bedroom so they're removing all the mortar then what they're going to do after they free it up on this side and free it up on this side all the way across they're going to shift it up on this side they're going to re-secure it uh, and make sure that it's properly squared and they'll put the mortar back in just like they're doing the new one over there it's going to be done the same exact way and then they'll refinish it and remember I said I thought it was going to take between two and three days and this is day one they'll have all of the the uh, mortar removed from it uh, today and tomorrow I believe they'll be doing a correction so it will take mm, between two and three days and then we'll have to do the uh, refinish so two days to do the correction and then they'll, they'll do the finishing and, and it should be back to normal, uh, probably around three days. All right, let me tell you what's going on over my shoulder over here right now. The, the markers that they put down earlier when they already dug a lot of the trench for the retaining wall that's going to be to the right side. Remember, this is the retaining wall on the left side of the driveway right here that defines our path, our driveway that goes down towards the basement. Well, the one on the right side, uh, in our drawing and the right way in my mind, it should be the exact same width. So we have a four meter from this post to this post over here. So as everywhere down the driveway from this side should be exactly four meters. So this is a, an exact uh, width all the way down to the garage area. 
and the my, my builder had to find with these guys out here earlier and he pushed the uh, the wall the retaining wall on this side further to the right to make this for, first portion uh, a 90 degree angle for this fence post right here and his reasoning was because he wanted the gate to open fully to that 90 degree angle and you normally would do something like that but since this entire entranceway right here is angled to the right to be parallel with the house and not parallel with the sidewalk uh, that's not a big that's not a key influence for us to have to do that 90 degree so what I asked him to do is follow this exact uh, curvature of the retaining wall on this side over here so we, re we just we just got done remarking it and they're shifting it over and what that does is th this distance from here to here is four meters and we'll have a four meter pathway all the way down. Four meters is a lot of room. We don't need 4.4 meters, which was about 4.4, 4.3 meters, uh, which is how it was gonna wide, it was gonna go wide, and then it was gonna go back narrow to the, the three, I think it's 3.2 meters, that corridor that goes down into the basement area down there. So that being said, uh, we're making the correction. I, I can't handle things being uh, non-symmetrical when it comes to like driveways and and certain things certain things can be non-symmetrical and I use that word symmetrical a lot I apologize for that when you're when you're doing your landscaping in your, your yard you definitely don't want to have a symmetry inside there you want to have nice curves and you want to have different things uh, for for your eyes to focus on that's different but when you're making a driveway like when you're making a street like when you're making a sidewalk you want it to be the same width as much as possible. At least that's the way it is in my mind. That's the way my mind thinks. Well, it's getting close to the end of the day. Uh, they're, they're not only going to be working about another 10 minutes. And 10 minutes is a critical point around here, around 5 o'clock during this time of year. Because between 5 and 5.30, it gets dark really fast. So I want to pack, pack up and walk home in, hopefully with a little bit of sunlight still out. So let's go ahead and do a quick capture of what got done today. And uh, we'll start from the basement and we'll work our way up to the second floor. Not sure why we only got four, but we got four glass hall bug. These were done before lunch, before I took off. And uh, not sure what the hold up is on the rest of them, but we got that done down here. I think that was mainly the only thing that was done inside the basement area down here. Uh, on the outside, of course, we have um, folks working on the stairs in the back that that's taking us to the backyard. We have one more level of <laughs> one more level of stairs. They corrected the top of the next to the last one, and so that each one of the rise is the same, and uh, added one more because by cutting each one of those down, we lost one layer of uh, um, steps that takes us to ground level. Uh, so that's pretty much oh oh and my my uh, electrician was working down here today and he started installing some of the electrical outlets so we have an electrical outlet over here down we can plug something in at this point right here we have an electrical outlet up here in this area as well so now that i look at it my electrician actually installed a lot of the electrical outlets today you see the ones up in the ceiling up here and this is for something later on that we'll talk about later on. Uh, but also in the floor area right here, up here, this was supposed to be for the electric garage door opener. In the event that we go in the electric garage door opener later on, a different type of garage door, it's already wired so that we have electricity. And for my workbench inside here, each one of the workbenches has their own electrical outlet inside here. Let's see. I don't know where else he might have gone. Take a look and see if we put it in some other places down here. Oh, and for the emergency light down here, we have the one up there. Take a look and see if we put one inside the, the spare bedroom back here. Oh, yes. One over there. One over here. Oh, he was pretty busy today. Hmm. And then what else is it? Oh, I wonder if he got the one inside here for the... Oh, he did. And this is for the sump pump. This is where the sump pump and this booster pump right here. We have the electrical... Oh, that is awesome. I'm glad that's inside there. We have an outlet on the wall over here. I wonder if he was able to find it through all of this. Oh, he did. Oh, he rocks. We got one back there. 
And let's look inside the generator room, Steve. No, he missed that one. So there's one there. No, he did not. So he missed one. So let's see what the circuit break. Oh, all of this got taken apart. He must not have been happy with that. <laughs> and let's see what we have. Oh, the circuit breakers. Uh, they're installed with the circuit breaker covers uh, partially connected all the way. And we have some more over here. And it looks like we have maybe some spares. I don't know. Uh, we'll have to find out later on. Uh, but all of this is gone. Our main breakers that we had inside here. Uh, this is the main, main one. And this is supposed to be ones that has to do with the transfer switch between the generator and bottle elect on the grid. Uh, so he must not have been happy with what happened there. Uh, we'll find out tomorrow. Uh, I, maybe not tomorrow. Uh, maybe on Monday. So on the first floor, you remember yesterday we made the call to not put stone here. And this is going to be the same color as the walls out here. So we have the first layer of the skim coat that's on there and they'll do sanding and they also did looks like it's the ledge here and we have the ledge up there let's see if they did the top oh yeah and they did up there on the top too okay so that's good so we're 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 moving forward on this right here also you see that they were working all day today on the the sunroom detailed ceiling well, there's a lot of days of work on this right here. Oh, and something else. Uh, painting. Uh, the, the, the first test swatch of the paint for the dining room. And my wife picked this color. And uh, I have to see if she approves of this. If she, if she does approve of it, we're keeping it. But this is the color for the dining room. Uh, here, and it'll be this wall on these two sides right here. And we will have crown molding that goes along the top. Just in this section right here, we have to stop in this corner right here because we can't put crown on this arch area right here. So uh, what do you think of this color? And on the second floor, we got the door jam installed on the master bedroom that takes you out to the lanai. And I, I did a check with the four foot level and we look good all the way around. We're plumb and square and uh, I don't think we're going to have to re remove this one or do any extra corrective action on it. I, I hope not. And also you see what they worked on today on the second floor is doing that correction for the French doors that lead into the master bedroom suite. They got all the, the uh, concrete broke, broken up on this side right here, uh, but they still lack the the piece on the top of it they got to clear and this is the, the most important well, it's all got to be done but the main part is this side because the right side has to move up uh, and it has to go higher uh, to make the correction side there so they should be able to knock that out I'm thinking mm, I'm hoping first thing in the morning and uh, and then do the corrective action and put the mortar back inside there tomorrow and Monday they should be able to start doing the finishing on that also, we didn't really look at, at this work that was done today. Maybe we did earlier. I'm not sure if I captured it on the video. But inside the bathroom, uh, in the CR on the second floor, uh, you see the finishing of the ceiling up here for the lighting feature. Uh, they, I, think, I think they completed it. I think it's all done. And it's ready to hook up lights and uh, do whatever they have to do. Of course, the rest of the, rest of the CR is pretty much blank slate inside of here. So we still have a lot of work to do inside of here. Oh, I thought it was done. But they actually did some more painting inside of here. I didn't realize it. Okay, so anyway, uh, my wife picked out this color too, and this is the color that she is looking for the entire main part of the house. Uh, and it's this color right here. Uh, this is for the, the great room, the great room, all the way up to there. It will be painted up in this area, inside here the hallway and the hallway here taking you into the bedroom so uh uh hon take a look at this and is this the color that you wanted because this is kind of like the color that you picked out and lastly for today the uh digging for the retaining wall that's going to be the border of a flower bed and then goes over to the sidewalk area 
so uh, that got done. Remember, we made the correction. You can see how much we moved in because it all should be this width right here for our form to go for the for the beam that goes along that supports the concrete hollow block. And we had to shift it over. Like I said, I don't know. Maybe maybe it wasn't. Maybe maybe it was 20 to 30 centimeters. I'm not sure. Not not too much, but enough that you would definitely notice it. Uh, so it will be a little bit more uniform coming in to the flow down into the basement area. Oh, by the way, oh, something I, I didn't tell you I did earlier, and I should have brought you along with me when I was doing it, but I did some measurements. I wanted to check the widths that we have inside of here uh, because we were thinking about putting stone or something on the side, and that's going to even make it, it's not going to be much, but even, even that much on both sides, it's going to make a big difference. And it's supposed to be three, uh, I think it's supposed to be 3.2, 320 centimeters from side to side is what's supposed to be here. And 320 centimeters is no problem for, I, I went out and I measured the vehicle. And with 320 centimeters, I have, oh, I, ha I have plenty of room on both sides so that the mirrors don't hit or anything going down inside here. But when I took actual measurements here, it's not uh, 320 centimeters everywhere. The wall is, uh, the way they did the retaining wall inside here on both sides, uh, we're uh, 305 centimeters is the, the narrowest point through here. Which 305, which is a little over three meters, is still plenty of room for that to go through. And that's uh, probably one of the biggest size vehicles. That, that may be you know, like a, uh, a Ford Ranger or something like that going through there. Uh, if you had a compact, uh, subcompact or compact, you would have no problem at all with this, uh, this driveway right here. But uh, th 305 centimeters still isn't going to be a problem. Of course, this is four meters up here, so this is, it, we're gonna, I, I have so much room up here. Uh, the, the proof in the pudding is, is, is going around this corner right here and going inside the driveway. And we won't, we won't be able to test that out until, mm, uh, well, once we get everything installed down here the gravel the uh, grass block the sand and then the grass blocks so let's go ahead and close for today so i can get out of here get this edited hopefully get it out tonight on time uh tomorrow is going to be sunday and sunday remember uh is road trip day we have to go pick up those appliances for the uh the custom cabinets that are going to go inside here and we're going to try to pick out a couple other things uh, if my wife does not like this color swatch for the uh, the great room we might be changing that out as well uh, so uh, today you see you saw all the different things we got we, we, we're actually fixing some of the things that were that needed correcting I was kind of hoping uh, glass blocks I don't understand why we only got four glass blocks done today uh, unless the uh, the, uh, the worker that was down there unless he got tasked out somewhere else um, but um, we should have been able to get all the glass blocks done in one day that being said tomorrow is Sunday road trip and I will take you along with me for that. So I'm going to close for now. If you enjoyed today's video, uh, please give me a thumbs up. Please share. And if you have not subscribed, just click on that little My PI Dream Heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen. You will be subscribed and you will get notified the next time I upload a new video. So until tomorrow, you have a wonderful and blessed weekend.